We're so excited to have I, Justine, in the house right now. I'm excited. I feel like you are so synonymous with online and videos online and stuff. How did you jump in so early to the you digital know, world? I think I was just like really bored and I kind of grew up in the middle of nowhere. So like <laughs> the only thing that I had was like my technology and I was always taking like my parents' VCRs apart and their remotes and they're like, are you gonna put this back together? I'm like, no, I just wanna see what's inside. <laughs> so I'm just, I've always loved like technology and I just, that's pretty much been my passion forever. So like, is this your life now? Like, is this your job? It is. Have you turned it into a business? I don't like to call it a job because okay. it's so much fun. Uh -huh. Like to call it a job, I feel like it's work and it, it's just, it's amazing. The thing that I think is really cool about you and your channel, it seems like you're helping trends really get out there mm -hmm. and you're helping all of us find out what is going on in the world. Um, is that something you set out to do or does it just kind of happen by accident? I don't think so, but I mean, I couldn't do that if it wasn't for the viewers. I mean, yeah. they tell me everything. They're like, they're telling me what's cool. They're like, hey, you should check out this. You should check out this video. And really, if it wasn't for them, I mean, I wouldn't know. I feel like I'm just kind of a vehicle for, you know, a bunch of people's voices. And it's so fun to be able to put their videos into my videos and kind of mm -hmm. just make it like a little happy virtual family. Leave a comment below saying, Justine, put me in the next episode. What's the nicest comment you've got from a fan? It's, I mean, it's a bunch of comments. I mean, usually the ones where they're like, you know, I was having a bad day and I watched your video and now like I'm having a good day. Or people talk about like they're going through hard times and they're like, you know, I didn't smile once today until I watched this video. So I'm like, those are the kind Aww. that you're just like, wow, I will never stop doing this as long as you guys are like enjoying it and, right. and being happy. Right. And we're actually here at VidCon, so all of your fans are here. It's so what amazing. has been your interaction with them face to face? You know what? It's pretty surprising because like everyone is so cool because they already know you. Mm -hmm. I mean, we might not know everything about them, but like they know everything about us. They know like our favorite colors, they know our favorite foods, they know everything and so you can have a really easy conversation with them because they know everything. They know yeah. what to ask. So for anyone out there who wants to start making YouTube videos, what tips or tricks would you tell them? to um, follow. Just keep making content. Like honestly, just produce content. And even when I first started, I literally posted to every video site. If it could host video, like I had all of my videos there. And there could be, you know, another community out there that's, that's right for you. I mean, YouTube's amazing and there's such huge distribution there that, mm -hmm. you know, if you can put your content there, like put it there. Who would you want to collaborate with? Oh my gosh. I, oh, let me think. I really want to do something with Smosh and Freddie Wong too, because he is hilarious. Yeah. And just th their videos have such a high production value that it's like, this is amazing. It's, ugh, it's great. <laughs> Can you take me back or take all of us back to um, maybe the first time you went to an Apple store and did like a performance to camera with all of the random people watching? I can't really remember the first one because I used to just go in and like vlog and like talk to the camera. Hey guys, I'm here. Yeah. And then one day I was like, let's see what happens if I start dancing. And it was a little uncomfortable, but a little secret. I actually am very nervous, like right before I dance. Really? You get like, nervous? I, I never get nervous. Like I, well, okay, that's right, I lied. I got nervous when I met Justin Bieber. But the <laughs> second time that I got nervous was, you know, dancing in Apple stores. Because it's like, I mean, it's really, it's kind of scary. Yeah. But then once you start dancing, you go free. And <laughs> what does YouTube mean to you? YouTube to me really just means it's like a community. I mean, it's like my home and we're all this huge community and we're all in it together. So doing like collabs and just reading comments and, and doing videos where I can have other people be in my videos and submit content, like it's, it's just phenomenal to be able to have that interaction. What would you say to the creators of YouTube if they were sitting here with us right now? I love you. <laughs> that was intense. It was. It was sincere from the heart. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much, I Justine. This was lots of fun. It's awesome.